Hi. In tutorial 5, we will take a closer look at the mesh modifications available under the Bodies tab. First, let's open the example file for tutorial 5. Select the Lady Shell tutorial 5 file. And click open to import the data. Once the file loads, rotate the view to get a better look at the data being imported. Switch on the edge display with the shortcut Alt and E. Enable visibility of the rotation center with Alt and R. Use the middle mouse button to set the rotation center. Set the rotation center close to the edge. Recenter the view with the home key. Turn off edge visibility with Alt and E. Now switch to the Bodies tab. We will use the Thicken tool to make this a solid body. Pick the local method for thickening. We will create quadrilateral elements at the boundary. To do so, click the Use Quads checkbox button. Set the rotation center close to the edge of the body. Now create the preview. Show the edges with Alt and E. We will increase the thickness of the body by changing the factor. To make the change permanent, click the Apply button. Turn off the edge visibility. We can see that the body is now a solid, defining a volume. Go back to the Import tab. Expand the File menu. And select the first item under the Recent Files list to re-import the file. Go back to the Bodies tab and turn on edge visibility. Choose the simplify tool and pick the absolute option from the size method drop down box. Select a target size of 5000 facets and click the preview button. Make the result coarser by changing the value to 500 facets. Alternatively, you can use the percentage option. Go back and use a value of 10%. We will keep this. Click the apply button. Now switch to the Thicken tool, and click the Preview button with the previous settings. Uncheck the Use Quads option. To clear the preview, Click the delete button next to the preview. We will reload the original file. We will use the remesh tool. To determine the average edge length, first click on the average edge option. Then select the value option. The value option now shows the computed, average edge length. The same goes for the minimum edge length. Which in this case happens to be zero and therefore not a possible value. The maximum edge length of 3.47 is now shown in the value field. We will set a custom value that is close to the average edge length. 
we will also increase the number of iterations and the amount that each iteration can affect the mesh. Note that if the number of iterations is high and the target size is small compared to the current mesh, the application can take a very long time. Once the process completes, review the results. Change the target edge length to 3. Equally, we can make the mesh more refined. Now, let's take a look how the options affect the boundary. The fix loops and fix boundaries determine how the mesh is retained where it is not attached to anything else. We are happy with the results, so let's apply them. Next, we will change triangular facets to quadrilaterals, also known as quads. The most effective is the quad dominant option. As we can see, most triangles are converted to quadrilaterals, but some triangles still remain. Set the rotation center here. Now we will use the pure quad option. We can see that all triangles have been converted to quadrilaterals but some appear dark. These are the items that have a less than ideal shape and are almost concave. Now we will try the split quads option. This conversion is guaranteed to work but triples the number of facets. We will reset the data to what it was before changing the types. Click the red delete button next to the preview button. Let's work with the full body. Switch to the Import tab. And select the Bust Female Tutorial 5 file. Turn off Edge Display. Switch back to the Bodies tab. And select the Simplify tool. From the Size Method drop down, pick the Absolute option. Set the value to 5000 facets and click Preview. Turn on Edge Display. And review the result. Not too bad for a 97% reduction in size. We will make this resolution permanent. Use the subdivide tool to smooth the body.
Note that each iteration creates three times as many facets. Even though after one iteration the shape is still 90% smaller than the original, the output can quickly grow. This completes tutorial 5. Please subscribe to this channel for other tutorials and thumb it up if you enjoyed it. Please also follow us on Twitter at InStepDev.